Should you allow your dog on the furniture? It's a pretty common question that we get from our students, and I'm actually going to talk about that today in our two-minute training terms. I'm Ken Steep. Welcome back to McCann Dogs. Now here comes the part where I play a G chord on my acoustic guitar and Hippie Shake, our toy poodle barks toys. Welcome back to McCann Dogs. If this is your first time with us, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We publish new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to help you do something awesome with your dog. This is our two minute training term series where I try to explain to you in two minutes or less a word or a phrase or an idea as it relates to dogs and dog training to help you better understand your dog. Now I've chosen a different location for our two minute training terms today and it's actually sitting on the couch which is way more comfortable and maybe something that you see more often in the future. But let's not waste any more time. Let's put two minutes on the clock and here we go. Some people would suggest that you should never allow your dogs on the furniture and this kind of ties in with old dominance theories that uh, if your dog is elevated they'll see themselves as the pack leader. We prefer to think of positions of status by means of an understanding of manners and boundaries. Because they're so infrequently good examples of one size fits all dog training we're going to look at this from two kinds of dogs. Dog number one. Dog number one is that dog in training that you're working really hard to get them to listen to you and respond to you the first time every single time. You've probably been working really hard to give them clear expectations and show them clear boundaries. With these dogs in training, it's a great opportunity to have them go lie down on a mat or maybe a bed that's right next to the couch or chair. Uh, maybe they can hang out there with a bone and you can relax for a bit and you know, know that uh, you're, you still keep one eye on them but you're able to watch TV a little bit or maybe you can even set a crate next to the couch or chair um, so that you're no, you know your dog can be safe. Um, and if you really get involved in that movie and get distracted, you know that they can't get into trouble. It's a great opportunity for you to set those clear expectations and clear boundaries for those dogs in training. You know, whether you control food or toys or uh, access to the furniture, it's a great way to help you with your overall uh, big picture management of your dog. Dog number two. Dog number two is your average well-behaved dog. Dog number two is the kind of dog that has great manners, you know, listens to you when you, you uh, call for them, um, just has a clear understanding that there are boundaries and there are rules in the house. Now for this average well-behaved dog, it's entirely up to you whether you let them up on the furniture or not. I mean, whether it is, uh, you know, you set them up a space, and you, maybe you lay out a dog bed or something like that, or even a blanket to, to try to protect your furniture, and they have one specific spot that they go lay down on, or, um, it, I mean, you're probably gonna get drool and maybe some claw marks on your that piece of furniture so keep that in mind when you're making this decision but what I think is a really important tweak for dog number two for that dog that listens is have them up on the furniture by invitation only. What that means for us is basically when we have a dog that we're training and they've now they're listening to us, they understand that they need to show good manners in the house, that we have expectations and they're following them, then we'll invite them on the couch. You know, we might be sitting on the couch ready to watch a movie or something, we'll tell them up, up, and we'll have them lie down right next to us. Uh, maybe we can give them a bone or maybe we can just pat them regardless. The one clear definitive rule we have about being up on the couch is will they get off the couch when we ask them to. Basically what that means is after we've invited them up, if we need to get up and go to the other room or maybe readjust a blanket or something like that for them, when we say off, without issue, without any fuss, they just happily get off the couch. That's part of the rules about being on the couch and it's part of, uh, it's, it's really important factor for setting clear expectations. The other great part about allowing your dogs on the furniture by invitation only is that if you have guests over, if you have family over or whatever, you don't have to worry about them hanging out on your couch and your dog hopping on their lap. Your dog understands that there's a clear expectation that they're to keep four feet on the floor and not jump on the couch unless you invite them up. The other great part about allowing your dog on the furniture by invitation only is that you can be really selective about what pieces of furniture your dog is allowed on. Maybe your dog's allowed on the couch, but they're never allowed in the love seat. Maybe they're allowed in the recliner and they're never allowed on your bed. What I want you to keep in mind is for those average, well-behaved dogs, you have clear expectations and you're really consistent about your expectations of them jumping up on the furniture. And that's all I have to say about that. Tell me that this is the one. I was really comfortable the whole time so I could see me making it under two minutes here. You know what? I don't feel so bad about going over because I was comfortable the whole time. I think we should shoot all our videos this way. I hope you enjoyed this two minute training terms and I hope you found it helpful. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We publish new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to help you do something awesome with your dog. Beside me is a video that YouTube thinks you'll want to watch next. On that note, happy training everybody.